Okay, today we're going to be uh, working on Adobe Illustrator, our first lesson, which is creating shapes. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is launch Adobe Illustrator, which is this orange AI. Uh, you can go to your uh, search menu and search for Illustrator, right? It's Adobe Illustrator. And then once you have it launched, open this file, the Illustrator exercise number one, drawing shapes. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is draw a shape. So just similar to how it was in Photoshop and in um, InDesign, you have the rectangle tool. And so let's go ahead and make a rectangle. So just draw a rectangle, trace it over the current rectangle. You notice when that line comes across, that diagonal line, it's showing you that this is a perfect square. Okay. See the little buttons here, here, here? You can grab on that button and you can pull in and you notice that it makes a little bit of a circular edge around there. So now we have a nice circular square right there. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my shape. I'm going to hold down on it and I'm going to choose the polygon tool and I'm going to make a triangle. So notice first thing that it does is it creates a um, six-sided polygon here. So uh, right here you'll notice there's a little button you can push and the little plus minus appears right there. So you can change the sides. I'm going to change it down to three sides. Then I'm going to rotate that around until I have a... Oops. Let's undo that. So I need to go back and get my black arrow tool. Right. Make sure it's straight. That looks pretty straight. And I can reduce the size by dragging in the corners. All right, so I'm going to drag that corner so it meets the other corner. Same thing here. I'm going to drag that corner until it gets there. So I have a perfect triangle. Okay, and so this I need to make out of other shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a circle. So I'm going to grab my shape tool again and get the ellipse tool. In order to make a perfect circle, you're going to draw from the inside out. And I'm going to hold down the shift key. And it makes a perfect circle. If I don't hold down the shift key, I get an egg shape ellipse. So grab my pointer, move that down. So let's make a triangle. So let's change that down to three sides. I'm going to rotate it around. And then I'm going to squeeze in the sides so it's nice and tall. It's very easy to add another shape, so be very careful. Okay. Now I'm going to see so I keep doing it. Undo. I'm going to get my pointer tool so I can stop making new shapes. I'm going to put that right on that line, and then, in fact, I'm going to move the circle out of the way. Undo. A lot of undoing. Okay. Grab the circle, move it over there. I'm going to put this right there on the line, and then I'm going to drag my right line over until that path is right there. And do the same thing with the left until the path. It's the right size. And now I'm going to drag the top down until I put the point right there where the other point was. Perfect. Okay, now I can put my circle back on the circle. Okay. Now you notice these all have lines around the edges. So one of the things I can do is so I can click on that and I can make it white. Do the same thing here. Make it white. There we go. So now they blend together as if it's one object. Okay, so now I just need to make my rectangles here. Make sure both of these are white. And bam. Bam. Okay. So now how do I make things like this right here where 
No, there's an opening. Yeah. So first, of course, the first thing I need to do is make the rectangle, right? Like that, and I need to make the circles, the edges rounded. Okay. Oops, undo. Okay, so now I'm gonna move that guy over there. Grab my rectangle tool again, and let's make the inside rectangle. Okay. Now I can take this rectangle and put it on top of that one. Okay, so now that I've added this on top of the other object, I need to select both objects like this, right? And then I'm going to go over here to Object Compound Path Make. And you see what it does is it takes and it cuts out the top path from the bottom path so that I have a brand new object like that. Okay. So now the last thing I need is this little thing right here. Right, so I'm going to come back over here, get my shape tool, like that. Right. So let's talk about the rounded rectangle tool. So right here you can go up here to rounded rectangle and you can make this a rounded rectangle and you don't even have to round it out later, right? So if I want to make this a round rectangle, it's already rounded and I don't have to pull the edges in, right? Okay. So now I can grab both of these like that, right? And I want to join the path to the other join. Oops, that's the wrong one. So we're not going to join, we're going to group. So we're just come up here to make sure you have them all selected. Object, group. Right, and now it moves it all as one object group. Okay, so I want you to complete the robot as your assignment.